let's learn to build the clapping hands emoji animation using Swift UI. You can find a similar animation in Skype, but we are going to build this animation using Swift UI. To follow along, you can get the emoji from tweetmoji.twitter.com. If you are a developer, you can get it from GitHub. And if you are a designer, you can click this button to download an SVG version. I downloaded the designer version because I wanted to animate the individual parts. For example, the eyes, hands, and the mouth. I have divided this animation into four parts. So let's begin by animating the individual parts. Over here, you can see we have the same emoji. I separated all the parts in Sketch and exported into Xcode as PDF. So I separated the hands, the eyes and the mouth from the other parts of the body. To create all the animations, we will need states. So over here, I have defined three initial states. Blinking, that will be used to animate the eyes. The second state is opening closing. That will be used to animate the mouth. And the last one is clapping. We are going to use the clapping state to animate the hands, the left hand and the right hand. So let's begin with the eyes. Before we animate the eyes, let's look at how this animation is triggered. I have all the individual parts of the emoji contained in this parent container, which is ZStack. And where the parent container ends, we trigger the animation when all the views appear. So over here, you can see we have the task modifier. In iOS 15, we can use the task modifier in the same way as the onAppear modifier so that as the view appears, the animation is triggered. So here, we set all the final states and toggle their values. So this is going to toggle between the final and the initial states we set over here. So let's begin by animating the eyes to create a blinking animation. So we are going to create the blinking animation using scale effect. And thus, we are going to animate only the Y coordinate of the scale effect. So let's add the scale effect modifier. Using the scale effect modifier, we can animate both the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. But in this case, we are just interested in the Y coordinate. So let's put it here. And to create the blinking animation, we are going to bring the state blinking. So let's copy it from here and paste it over here. We are going to create the animation using ternary conditional operation, which has two values, true and false. So by bringing a question mark, we need to enter the true value. So when the condition is true, we are going to set the eyes to zero. So that will make the eye to be hidden. Next is the false value. So when the condition is false, we set the eyes to one. That will make the eye visible. Next, we add the animation modifier in order to see the animation. The first parameter is the easing function. We are going to use a custom easing function. So let's put a timing curve. For the timing curve parameters, we are going to use custom easing function from the website easings.net. Over here, you can get different kinds of custom easing functions for your Swift UI animation. The easing function which I see to be more appropriate for this animation is this one is in outback so by clicking on the graph we need to copy only the cubic bezier values you can see here we have the cubic bezier and we are going to copy only the values so i'll press command c to copy then we come back to the animation in swift ui 
we are going to remove all the parameters and paste the value. The next parameter is the value parameter. For that, we are going to use the state. So let's copy the state and paste it here. So let's resume to see what we have done. We now have the animation, but it happens only once. So let's repeat the animation. First, we are going to add a delay of one second. The delay modifier needs to be added after the timing curve. So over here, let's put a delay of one second. To repeat the animation forever, we are going to use the modifier repeat forever. So let's bring it here. Let's select the one that has the parameter auto reverses and set auto reverses to false. And that is how to create the blinking animation of the eyes. Let's go to the next animation that is animating the mouth. We are also going to animate the mouth using scale effect. And since we have created a scale effect animation, we can copy the one we just created, the scale effect modifier and the animation modifier. And then we change the value of the states. So I'm going to select them and press Command C to copy and come to where we have the mouth image. I'm going to paste it here. Then we change the states blinking to opening closing. As you can see from the scale effect animation, we are scaling the Y coordinate. But we are not interested in the Y coordinate in this animation. So let's change it to X and also change the true value. Let's put 0 0.7 because we don't want to scale the X from zero. We will also change the parameter auto reverses from false to true. And to see the math animation clearly, I'm going to put a comment on the hands. So this is how the math animates using scale effect. Let's continue by creating the other two animations. So I'm going to press Command Z to undo the change we just made. And that brings the hands. The next animation will be animating the left hand. For this animation, we are going to animate two properties, position and rotation. For the position animation, we are going to use the X offset. And the rotation animation, we are going to use rotation effect. So let's bring the rotation effect modifier. For the angle of rotation, we can set it in radians or in degrees. For this animation, we are going to use degrees. We have to specify the angle of rotation. For the angle of rotation, we are going to use the state clapping. So let's copy that and then paste it over here. We want to create the rotation animation using ternary conditional operation. So let's bring question mark. And a ternary conditional operation has two values, true and false. For the true value, we are going to enter 15. That will rotate the hand 15 degrees. And when the condition is false, we will set the angle of rotation to a negative value, which is minus five. What we have to do next is to add the animation modifier. So over here, I'm going to add the animation modifier after the rotation effect. The first parameter is the easing function. We are going to use a default easing, ease out. Let's choose the one that has duration. For the duration of this animation, we are going to use 0 0.2. Next, we want to repeat this animation forever. Let's choose the one that has the parameter auto reverses. 
and set the value to true. And the parameter value, we are going to use the state. So I'm going to copy the state clapping and put it over here. And that is all we need to create the hands clapping animation. If you look at the animation of the hands closely, you can see it is rotating from the center. But this is not what we want. We want it to rotate from the bottom part. So we can change the position of the center of gravity, which is called the anchor point. We can move the anchor point to different locations. For example, left, right, top, and the bottom. To do that, in the rotation effect, we need to add another parameter called anchor. So over here, I'm going to add the anchor and set it to bottom. You can now see the hand is rotating from the bottom part and not from the center. Next, we need to move the hand from left to right using offset. So after the rotation effect, let's add the offset modifier. The offset has two parameters, X and Y. And in this animation, we are not interested in the Y coordinate. So we are going to put only the X coordinate. Again, we are going to use the state clapping. And use the same ternary conditional operation. So for the true value, we are going to set the offset to 20. And for the false value, we are going to set the offset position to minus 40. And that is how to create the left hand animation to rotate and also move from left to right continuously. The last animation is the right hand. And since we have the animation of the left hand, we can reuse the same animation of the left hand for the right hand and reverse the values. So let's copy all the animation modifiers. I'm going to start from here and copy until where we have the animation modifier. So I'm going to press Command and C to copy. This is where we have the right hand. So over here, I'm going to paste. And that animates both hands in the same direction. So what we are going to do is to reverse the animation of the right hand. Let's start with the rotation animation. Over here, you can see the true value is positive and the false value is negative. So let's remove the negative sign from here and put it over here. Next, I'm going to change the negative sign of the false value here and also put a negative sign here. So now we have the right hand animating in opposite direction to the left hand. And that is how to create this clapping hands emoji animation using nothing but Swift UI.